Hello and welcome back to the Democrat Party's authoritarian takeover of our elections and country. With increasing calls from the actual threats to democracy and their media mouthpieces alike, both calling for all states to remove Trump from the ballot, thereby taking away your right to vote in this democracy and rigging the election in their favor. You're gonna wanna see this for yourself, but first, just give me 30 seconds. I know you all hate the ads, but this could greatly benefit you and you'll get a free coin while you're at it. If you're trying to navigate market turbulence, why not set course to the Noble Gold Investment Safe Haven. With global uncertainty looming, your savings and retirement plans are under siege. But there's one asset that has stood the test of time, gold. Unlock the peace of mind that comes with owning gold, the ultimate safe haven. With gold at an all-time high and looking to climb further, it's the perfect time. Open a Noble Gold Investments IRA and secure your future with a free gold bullion coin. Act now before it's too late. Call 877-646-5347 and claim your free coin now before it's too late or visit noblegoldinvestments.com that's noblegoldinvestments.com and remember there's always risk of investment and there are no guarantees of any kind lots of conversation about the 14th amendment nowadays directly connected to the actions of donald trump in the lead up to this day three years ago and what he did on that day january 6th do you think he should be barred from any ballots given his actions on january 6th no trump's actions on that day was to tell people who wanted to go to the capitol and protest to do it peacefully and patriotically that's what over 120,000 people did it was a relatively small handful of people with around 370 charged with violence another 300 charged with destruction of government property and the rest with misdemeanors like trespassing. Think about it. If Trump had actually rallied these people and incited them to riot at the Capitol, there would have been way more than 300. But even then, Trump did call for that fringe minority of people to go home. But social media platforms deleted the video and banned his accounts. Well, I support every state taking very aggressive action um, to, to keep him off the ballot. Of course! Uh, he is undergoing uh, you know, court action across America. Uh, and I don't know that we ha have ever had a situation. Actually, I do know that we've never had a situation where a sitting president could be a convicted felon. No shit. Yeah, we've never had extreme partisans attempting to imprison their main opponent and his supporters, and then attempting to remove him from every ballot. If the roles were reversed and it was Trump and Republicans who were doing this, we all know for a fact that the media and the Democrats would be losing their minds and calling this an attack on democracy. The, the uncertainty that people are going to the ballot with is also unprecedented. Uh, is he gonna be on the ballot or not? Is he gonna be disqualified? Are people going to vote for someone uh, who's not eligible? And and so all of those questions need to be answered before the American people go out to vote. But what I think is also very important is that people don't sit it out. I've heard too many people saying they're going to sit it out. People have to, to go out and vote. I remember how many of us couldn't believe uh, that he won in the first place. Uh, and that's because there, was too many, there were too many people who just didn't think their vote mattered. Hmm. Well, thank you. History. Well, it demonstrates that it does, in fact, make a difference. It does matter. Oh! Okay! Notice how she's talking about voting and voters in the same breath as she's calling for voters to be denied the chance to vote for her political opponent. Now, I know that many of you are probably screaming at me right now to mention the fact that Bowser supposedly had a role in holding back National Guard troops. I know the accusation exists and that there are documents that suggest she did deny more troops than the 300 or so that had already been requested. Trump's lawyer testified to this, saying that Trump had already okayed thousands of National Guard troops. DOD reports apparently contradict this and say that he never gave the okay. So I'm not sure what the truth is about that. Back to the hack that's interviewing her, who's an open racist that mocks white victims of racist attacks. America, this is your future. It didn't stop there with actual Democrat Party propagandist George Stephanopoulos joining her in the fray, which seems to be picking up steam as they convince themselves that what they're doing is totally not authoritarian and very democracy. When your political opponents can literally just repeat a lie over and over and get you removed from the ballot. It's really supposed to be post elections about holding office, not running for office. And so I think they'll say it's really Congress's job. The states can't make up their own standard. Is it beyond a reasonable doubt? Is it more likely than not, etc.? What's interesting to me will be whether the Supreme Court goes out of their way in order to get those three Kagan, Sotomayor, Jackson votes in saying, yes, it was an insurrection, and yes, he engaged in it, 
but it's up to Congress. I don't see how they can do that, Donna Brazil. If you say he engaged in insurrection, was the question I asked Nancy Pelosi, I don't see how you can escape the plain meaning of the 14th Amendment and say he's qualified to run for office. I totally agree with you, George, but, you know, I don't have a lot of faith in the Supreme Court as it is now constituted. Of course! It must be different when Democrats attack Americans' institutions because that's what she just did. Because it's not left-wing enough to her liking. This is exactly the kind of thing I'm talking about when I say the left is dangerous because they can rationalize anything. That's what we're watching right now. The open rigging of an election by endlessly repeating the word insurrection. One thing I should have asked Destiny is how this relatively small handful of unarmed people was going to insurrect the government. Exactly what mechanism would this small group of unarmed people have to overturn the election or the government? I mean, if you need to work about taking on the federal government, you need some F-15s. You don't need an AR-15. If you wanted to think you need to have weapons to take on the government, you need F-15s and maybe some nuclear weapons. After the 2016 election, we watched the Democrats and media stoke riots over and over, along with the Russian collusion hoax, which the FBI went along with, even though they knew it was a Hillary campaign scheme. All of this was clearly meant to sow chaos and overturn the election results, which Democrats did try to do with seven of them voting to overturn election results. If we're gonna call Trump's actions an insurrection, what do you call it when all the institutions are openly aligned in carrying out and supporting it? All right, folks, try to stay positive as Democrats continue to normalize the idea that democracy simply means the Democrat Party in control. That's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. If you watched this long, might as well hit that like button, and I'll see you all on the next one.